So here we have a hard sided case by Boulder Case Company. As you can see right here. It is kind of similar to a Pelican or an SKB case. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of testing on this because I like what I see, I think. I like the price, um, but I'm not positive on the quality. Um, so we're gonna do some testing to find out quality and then we'll uh, see how the review goes. But um, yeah, I can show you some features on it, but basically it's just the case. Um, the, my my uh, concern here is that it's it's hard plastic, okay? So it doesn't feel like that softer kind of rubberized material of an SKB or a uh, Pelican. So I'm curious if a black case out here on a roof in the sun is going to prove it to be, uh, you know, brittle or see if it bubbles up or warps or anything like that. So I'm gonna leave it out here in the sun. It's supposed to be about 95 degrees. I'm gonna leave it out here on my roof all day. I'm gonna see if it bubbles up, warps at all. See if the hinges move or crack. Um, see how the seal is at the end. I'll show you guys inside. It does have an air release. Um, it's pretty basic, but uh, I really like the price on them. They are a local company here. So I'd like to see how it works. Um, so here she is inside. It does have, the foam is pre-cut, so you can put all kinds of neat stuff in there with just without cutting anything really. Kind of a nice looking case. So let's see how it does. We'll come back later on in the day, or in the evening I should say, and uh, we'll see how it looks. If it looks good, we'll see what we gotta do to break it. We'll, uh, we'll throw it off the roof, we'll do whatever it takes. Alrighty, so here it is at the end of the day. Uh, it was very hot today, about 100 degrees, and uh, I don't see any bulges or anything out there. She looks pretty, pretty good considering how hot this thing probably got. But now I was gonna take it off the roof, but I think we'll uh, we'll let it go because we've got some some weather rolling. So get the opportunity to do a little bit of a weather check on this right here. See if uh, some hail incoming and some uh, rain will do anything. But you see it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna get up. The Boulder Case Company case is on the roof. For example, it's raining so hard that. My gutters can't even hold what's going on. They're just kind of flowing over. Crazy. So it's a good uh, weather testing of that case. Well, up here it is. It's actually been testing out here on the hot roof for about a week. So you can see it was sitting flush and now it's turned, so it's slid off the roof a little bit. But let's see what we see here. So there is a little bit of a bulge in this, okay, in the top. She's not perfectly flat. Um, I don't know if the video will pick it up, but if you look at the sticker here, the Boulder Case Company sticker, it is bulged a little bit. Okay, but that could just be an internal pressure buildup. I can go ahead and loosen this up and see if it hisses. Which it does. So I got some of that internal pressure out of there, which is clearly built up by heat. Um, it helped a little bit, I guess, maybe. But she did bulge a tiny bit. It's been out here for several big storms. So, let's see. Uh, she's perfectly dry. Perfectly dry. Pretty sweet. So, the next test is uh, how durable it is. So I'm gonna throw it off the roof onto some concrete. And we'll see what happens. I'll throw it down here. So, Boulder Case Company, all intact. Let's go look and see it. Hit there. Hinges look good. No cracks. Took a pretty good gouge out of there. So it was good. So after a little bit of testing that you guys saw, I would have to give my thumbs up to Boulder Case Company. Um, they work well. They are very, very reasonably priced. And uh, it withstood the weather, withstood a pretty good shock to it, throwing it off the roof. Um, so I actually decided to get another one. So now I have two. 
um, what I did with them. I'll show you them. This one here is my, uh, I call it my Glock 22 um, kit. 22. So I got a Glock 22 with 15 round magazine. One in the chamber is 16 rounds. Two other 15 round mags. Maybe look over here. I've got four and four more 22 round mags. So I've got a Gen 4 Glock 22 with 222 rounds of 40 Smith & Wesson, uh, I think it's Critical Duty. Critical Duty in there. So that's that kit. That weighs about 14 pounds. And then the one that I tested, um, I made into my, get this open with two hands, and my 5.7 kit. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, and there's two underneath, six, seven, plus eight. So I got eight mags of 20, one in the chamber. It's 161 rounds. Throw a knife in there. Um, I'm gonna throw a light in here probably. Um, but this one weighs about seven, eight pounds maybe. It's about half the weight, but not quite as many rounds. But it's five seven, so it's pretty cool. So overall, I'm really impressed. I think uh, they, they did really well. Um, so yeah. So if you're looking for a case, go ahead and check out the Bowler Case Company. Um, they're reasonable priced, they're good quality, and I like them, they're cool. So there you go.